I'm Ellie, and I'm here in front of the National Academy of Sciences covering the 2009 Intel Science Talent Search. There are 40 finalists inside from all over the country, and they're showing off their projects, so I want to go and take a look. My name is Maxim Rabinovich. I'm from Florida. I'm Smitha Ramakrishna and I'm from Arizona. I'm Patrick Abahar. I'm Elizabeth Kokolet and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. My name is Michael Wham. My name is Jocelyn Swan. And where are you from? I'm from New York City. The basic objects of study are two mathematical models of fluid diffusion. I did my project about sucralose, which is the main ingredient of Splenda. Can you tell me a little bit about what your project is? Sure, my project uh, involved a uh, study of the red cockaded woodpecker, which is an endangered bird that lives in the southeastern United States. I see robot, human seeking robot. What exactly is your project about? Um, what it does is it's a robot that can navigate autonomously through hallways and search for people. So it's kind of a search and rescue type thing. We study the um, link between genetics and anxiety and also its relationship to female hormones. Basically what I did was I researched these brachiopod shells for their boron content, which would tell me a lot about climate change. What we did in this lab is we transplanted this mutant gene into female mice and ran several behavioral tests on them. Very little research had been done in the past in the vocalizations of this particular species, so I wanted to figure out a way if I could sort of determine the uh, meaning behind the calls. My main research question was, what happens to sucralose in a wastewater treatment plant? These models can be used as a numeric algorithm. A robot navigating all by itself. Global temperature. Brains arrive near trophic factor. The research stopped there and no one really asked what happens to the environment. I'm here with Wendy Hawkins and you're one of the directors of the Intel Science Talent Search. Is that correct? That's right. And what do you do exactly? What is your main role here? Well, I'm uh, executive director of the Intel Foundation. The total award amount for all the students in their schools is now one and a quarter million dollars each year. Out of the kids who have gone through the science talent search in years gone by, we have seven Nobel Prize winners. These students are doing work genuinely at age 17 and 18 that would qualify for a PhD at most universities in the United States today. 